What's up everybody? This is Eric from Zarks Hockey Box here and today we are going over our buys and pickups from the 20, 40, 43rd National Sports Collector Convention. I believe it's 43rd. Um, but yeah, so we just got back a few hours ago. Wristband still attached. Uh, wearing the hat that I wore. I'm not, I wore a Red Wings shirt, not the jersey because the jersey would have been way too hot. And then I got this nice prototype Red Wings jersey because we didn't finish our project on time for the first reverse retro so they kind of kind of left it blank but it was a nice prototype um that we got so i got this for dirt cheap uh, ebay adidas has an ebay site you go to the ebay site once in a blue moon they do like a sale on their sales so i got this for like less than four like like 40 something bucks i'll pay 40 something bucks for an authentic reverse retro even if it's again a prototype um but anyways we went to the convention the national convention got my ticket here too uh, only picked up a couple things. We didn't spend a lot of time there because I have some other stuff going on tonight. So I just wanted to make sure I hit it. I thought it was honestly the weekend prior to the weekend it actually was. So that was awesome. I'm kind of glad that I thought I was going to be working that weekend. I wasn't going to be able to go and uh, go to the convention. Then I saw it was this weekend. I'm like, cool. I can go and pick up a couple things. So the big things that we got. So first we did get one of the Steel City Collectibles promo uh, kind of Bedari cards. So they were giving these out at the their booth so if you bought anything from them they give out one of those so that was kind of cool to finally get like a kind of bedard card i bought some pokemon packs so it wasn't even hockey related i don't know if that's what they were supposed to do uh but i was wearing all hockey so the guy was gave me the card so i was like i'm not gonna question it not gonna even not don't worry about what it is uh the things that we bought again they had some good sales uh we got a 2022-23 hobby box series two and that got us are one pack of a uh, promotional pack for the, the convention. So Upper Deck, if you've never been to the National, there's certain products that you can buy from certain vendors. They'll give you, this time they give you, it's like a slip, a piece of paper with a slip of like what you bought. You take it to the Upper Deck booth and then they redeem it. They take the wrapper, which is why there's no wrapper on this box. Um, they took the wrapper off the box and gave me the promotional item to prove that like I had redeemed that coupon. So yeah, they, there's that. If you buy cases, you get a certain amount of redemption and stuff that, and uh, you can get autographs of that. Again, you guys watch, if you guys watch my, the one I went to a couple years ago, last time I was here in Chicago, I got a lot, but those they gave out at the actual booth you bought them from. But because Upper Deck didn't actually have a booth there, this year the Upper Deck had their own booth there. So that was kind of fun that they actually were able to give those out. And then the other things we got, uh, just because, again, that was like $85, which wasn't bad. Uh, it's not a box I really wanted to buy, but I wanted at least one promotional pack. And then we got two, as you can see here, two hobby boxes of uh, 21, 22, Series 2. These were like $60. Bucks. Uh, so I'm like, for $60, I'll go hunting for some more Cider Raymond Young Guns, uh, maybe an exclusive. That'd be great if I could get a Cider or a Raymond uh, Upper Deck exclusive. That I, I would go nuts for that. Um, also just, uh, redemption or like, uh, Young Gun canvases of, uh, Zegris and some of that. I would pretty much take any of that kind of stuff. So for 60 bucks, I'll buy a couple boxes of hobby. Why not? So I went in, bought a couple things. It was fun. It was a cool, fun, quick experience. Uh, went to the, there's like a shopping outlets right down the street from there too. Went there and, uh, the hot tub, I got some Funko Pops picked up. But, um, yeah, it was a fun little hour and a half, two hour trip out there. Went there, such because it was just a, it's a bus ride of the train, train down, and same thing back. And they have like a shuttle bus over there now, which I don't remember them having before, so that was really nice. So in today's video, we're going to open up the Series 2 box and the National Pack, uh, because why not? That's, that's, we haven't opened up a hobby box in a while on the channel. Mainly because, I forgot he didn't open the, I gotta get the sticker off. Um, mainly because again, the Young Guns are what I primarily like to collect, buy, and sell, trade, all that fun stuff. So, you can get Upper Deck, or you can get the Young Guns through retail, so why not? And retail is honestly a lot cheaper. Especially, um, if you go, if you buy through Dave and Adams, Steel City Collectibles, any of those types of places, they have like rewards and honestly if you with how much we have initially spent for the channel um david adams i get pretty decent not not amazingly super big discount on stuff but i get a slight discount and honestly some of the retail stuff there's some stuff i can get for like 30 40 bucks for a box of retail um i can't really beat that compared to like what some of these hobby boxes are so um yeah it it, it definitely beats it world junior great uh grads oh cool caulfield now, again, I have not opened any hobby of this set at all. This is all brand new to me, and I'm going to be kind of really sweaty because it is super freaking warm in this city right now. Um, ridiculously warm. <laughs> it's like 95, 90, 96 degrees out, something like that with humidity levels. So uh, I will be sweating, and this room doesn't have air conditioning. So 
give you a heads up that if you see a nice sheen on me, that's that's why you're gonna see. But no, it was a uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. Did I get it? Oh no, wait. French variant of Tyler Bertuzzi. I was gonna say, wait, this is a hobby box. You can't get a base pack. French variant. Nah, nah. I like how they actually put the the variant thing there. That's nice because some of them do that on like the back sometimes, and it's like okay, unless you're really looking, you're not gonna notice it. But that's pretty cool. But yeah, so. Again, Still City Collectibles and uh, David Adams have some pretty good sales on retail, so that's why I usually buy those. But today, why not? The Great Eight. Instant Impressions. Okay, interesting insert. But, um, yeah, so that's why I just I usually buy retail instead of over hobby. I know I can't get the Updeck exclusives. I know I can't do that kind of stuff. But, honestly, they're so hit and miss with some of the inserts you get for hobby. It's just not usually worth it. But, again, for these... That one I get this this one we're opening right now, 85 is a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a box, but again it was you get the promotional pack, which is cool. But sixty dollars, uh why not? I think if you go on their website right now, I think the, the base product, oh we got Dazzler, Jordan Spence, Blue Dazzler. I like that one. Definitely don't have that. Um I think like the retail boxes of series two from last year are like 35, 40 bucks if you have a high enough tier of their on their their buying list. Again, dirt cheap for that stuff. And again, mainly because Cider and Raymond had down years, which I don't think is going to happen again. So maybe it's a little biased. I mean, I, you can't tell. Oh, our first young gun, Linus Hoberg for the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, maybe I'm a little biased because of the fact that I'm Red Wings, obviously. But uh, yeah, no, I, I think that those are going to be some good young guns I have in the future, especially with the, again, chances at Zegers young gun canvases and stuff like that. I, just, I think it's just worth it. Second young gun. Oh, hi, Jakai. There we go. I was like, I know it. I know it. I do like him. Jakai is uh, was one of those players when I watched uh, the Camacho Canadians and Red Wings play one of the first games last year. He stood out to me. I like I like that one. So that's, that's a pretty cool young gun to get. But yeah, so anyways, that's that's why I do that. Uh, I will say, though, the one that does suck, so Dave and Adams is the one I buy through primarily. Uh, they do let you redeem your points at the convention, so you can like log into your account and pull up your... Oh, that's kind of cool. Welcome to Nashville. That's cool. I like that. That's a pretty cool card. I like those inserts. Uh, so they, they do let you like pull up your account. There's a QR code or they can just take your email and they'll give you your points, which is really cool. Steel City Collectibles, unfortunately, does not allow you to do that. You do not get points through their website if you buy through them at the conventions. That was kind of the downside. That's why I only bought like $20 of Pokemon cards. Hit really well in those, those packs too, but that was kind of... Mattis Sogard, upper deck rookie portrait, but um, so that's the one difference. That's why I would say David Adams is slightly better, and honestly, their prices were I think slightly better as well. Uh, not by much. I think I think like these again. They have more selection there for David Adams, but overall, I'd say it's it's about the same. If you don't have a point redemption with it, oh, they're cool. Welcome to Washington. Those are really cool. I like that that insert set. Kudos, Upper Deck. That's a second insert that I like. Dazzlers and those Welcome To cards are pretty cool. But yeah, so that was really cool to be able to get my points. So I got the level up again to another the next tier level. Um, quite far off from the next one, though. It's like 4,000 points off, so it's like a dollar per point, or point per dollar. We got ourselves a Dmitry Semikurov for the Edmonton Oilers. So yeah, it's it's... I'm pretty far off from the next one, but again, it, it, I know as far as I know, the points don't expire, so I keep leveling up every time I buy something from there. It's another, you know, a little bit of money towards leveling up to that next level, and eventually, once you hit a certain tier, you get like distributor prices, which are pretty cool. So, I'm excited to hit that one time. Tyler Bertuzzi canvas. Okay, this is the Tyler Bertuzzi box. I'm glad I'm getting all the X Red Wing player on there. But yeah, so again, it was a cool experience. There's some cool stuff. Again, I kind of really had to quickly go through it because of the fact that I have plans and. Oh, about an hour right now, so came home, relaxed, and then I'm filming this, then I'm going out and doing some stuff. Welcome to Toronto, okay. I do like that, and it looks like those are relatively common. So, those are kind of cool to be able to collect, maybe all 30, I'm guessing they have all 32 cities, that'd be kind of cool. And I am sweating, like, nobody's business right now. But yeah, so it was a really cool experience. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you can get out to a national, I know, like, it's a lot harder probably for those of you in Canada or other parts of the world, I'm sure it's got to be a lot harder to get to the national Riley Walsh for the New Jersey Devils, who is one of my favorite teams right now. I'm definitely very high on New Jersey right now after what they've done the offseason. 
but um, definitely recommend, definitely recommend hitting up the National if you can ever get out to it at least once. Uh, I'm hoping they do it more often in Chicago than Atlantic City. I've not been to the Atlantic City one, but I do like it being right. Oh, nice. Matthias Michelli. Shouldn't that have been a... Uh... Huh. Yeah, that should have been a rookie one, right? Interesting. It's a superstar, but I thought he was a rookie. Either way. But yeah, no, it's, I'm hoping for now on it'll be more Chicago, or at least they bounce it back and forth, so every other year at least it'll be here in Chicago. Uh, it's just, again, a lot easier to get to for me. I like that a lot more. And honestly, I, I don't know Canvas or Joel Faraby. I don't know what it's like in Atlantic City, what's around it and some of that, but I've not heard amazing things about the area. Like, there's not, like, a lot to do in the area, so it's, a, I think, just in general, for people to come and take a trip, I think Chicago's a lot better. Rosemont's a pretty good area. You got Schaumburg right by there. We can go out to Woodfield Mall, which is a huge mall. Big shopping district over there. You got the city of Chicago itself you can come to, and it's relatively easy to get around. Brad Marchand. So, I definitely think that, uh, sorry, you guys can't see that card, that Chicago's a better place for it, personally. Uh, not just trying to say that it's because of convenience for me that's definitely a bonus for me but i just feel like of the two i've heard a lot better things about chicago over atlantic city i guess in my lifetime i could be wrong amaya amaya i'm not gonna try and tell that i do not know who that is for the coyotes interesting i am excited about the coyotes too not gonna lie that's that's another team i'm kind of kind of looking forward to watching this year the red wings the sabers the doubles and coyotes probably like some of the top teams I'm definitely excited about for this this coming season. Well, what's this? Lunch box, box, lunch box Legends. I can't speak. Oh, the Alexander Barkov. That's kind of interesting. It's like a interesting little insert there. Don't know. I don't know if I like that one or not. I don't know. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit quite as like the, the Welcome Tour or the Dazzlers. Yeah. Other than that, i just been working, trying to get, as you can kind of see, not really a ton, but there is stuff everywhere this room is a mess uh between working a lot and trying to get this uh doing a lot of stuff on ebay kevin metalsons malias uh, mandolis i don't know that one either another another rookie card i do not know not gonna lie i don't know a lot of the rookies from this set that's why i really haven't opened a lot of it i don't remember there being a ton of them i know uh your eyes Slavkoski is a big one but honestly i don't i don't know most of the the rookies in this set I know where they're not being like a lot of big names I could think of. So let me know in the comments below if there's, there's what other rookies I sh would be normally looking for in this. Jordan Harris, Upper Deck Rookie Portrait. Because I am curious because, uh, again, I haven't really paid attention. There wasn't a lot. I think also wasn't uh there's a Red Wings rookie. I'm pulling totally blanking on it. I think there's a Red Wings rookie in this set too that I kind of want. I, I, was Sotoblom? I don't think Sotoblom was in there. Maybe he was. I can't remember. It's been a minute. I haven't really looked that much at the set list. Victor Loden? Loden? Blue Dazzler. Okay. Nothing too crazy in this box. Not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for something. But again, that's why I, hobby boxes just don't really do much for me. Because again, it's... Yeah, you get some young guns. You get like the Upper Deck exclusive variants or French variants. Some of that. But... It's so hit and miss. And if you get stuff that's actually like worth paying so much more for it. Alex Kerfoot. I personally believe retail is just, again, it's better. <laughs> it's miles cheaper, usually. Like, obviously, if I can get a $60 hobby box over a $40 or $45 retail, I'll just go to hobby because it's only a few dollars more. You get that chance at the exclusive. But if it's the same price, oh, that's pretty nice. Highlights Jordan Eberle for the Seattle Kraken. That's pretty cool looking. I always like acetate cards. Those are cool. That's a cool one. But, uh... Yeah, that's it. Uh, one more pack. Let's see if we get hit at anything in this last pack. Last pack magic? Yeah, so that's kind of this, the, the gist of our overall experience with the National guys. Definitely highly recommend people going if they can get to it. And it is just a Steven Stamkos instant impression. So yeah, not even... I don't even know who the big young gun is in this lot is. Wow, that... Kind of not a, not a great one, it was it. Not a great box. Trying to just quickly look through. I don't. I don't really know any of these rookies, so I don't. I couldn't even tell you which one was like, because you usually get like one bigger name rookie out of a set. But maybe the I'm guessing, uh, Jakai was probably, excuse me, Jakai was probably the the big name. Yeah, not an amazing box. Okay, well, whatever. Again, I wanted to open it up uh, to show you guys what was going on. Now let's do this national. This this is the big reason I bought the whole box in the first place.
Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely something I recommend to people. I, I'm hoping to be able to post a little bit more often for you guys and uh, get some get some fun content out there. Again, at least two more hobby boxes. We're going to be opening up some more product coming out. And then I do want to do like a rookies I'm looking for. I'm hoping are in Series 1 of this year, that type of thing. Let's see here. We got a prominent cuts of Wayne Gretzky, of uh, some wrestler I don't know. Iconic entrances. An AEW card I don't really care about. Shane Wright, Top Shelf Ricky, and Uri Slavkowski. Okay. Okay. It's an okay pack. I don't know if it was worth the $85 box, but it is what it is. I wanted to open up at least one. Uh, last year, uh, two years ago, we obviously pulled a, I think it was a Philip Kuroshev auto, so that was pretty cool. We also got a lot more packs because it was a lot easier to buy those Upper Deck Extended Series boxes. They were fire sailing those. I think I was getting them for like 40 50 bucks a box. Like, I think it was like 40 bucks a box for Hobby Boxes. So I was just buying up like three or four of those, and each one was a pack, so that was helpful. Not so much this year, again, the, ex the, the exclusives of what you had to buy was a little more higher tier. Again, this was the cheapest box, 85 the next one was 100 and then everything else was over $100. So I was going to buy a lot of them, especially because there's not a lot of stuff I really want. Like I said, OPG Platinum, I think, may have been in that list, so that was something I could have, maybe, but I just didn't want to spend that much on some hockey cards that didn't really feel like opening. I'm trying to wait till Series 1 of this coming year, because I think we're going to have some Conor Bedard cards, and that's going to be one I'm going to want to collect. But anyways... That's the opening for you guys. Uh, I know it's like 16 minutes long, so we're going to hurry up and end this here. But thank you guys for watching, subscribing, commenting, all that fun stuff. I am trying to make sure I post a little bit more regularly for, uh, you know, right now. I, I've been slacking, so I'm trying to get more back on top of it. And thank you for those who watch and uh, comment when you guys can and do. Uh, super appreciate all that stuff. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been Zach from Zach's Hockey Box, and I hope for you guys again very, very soon.